Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Thanksgiving. Get that turkey and ham going, baby. Don't make assumptions. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their own belief system. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. I get, the, I get the, uh, the beginning of it. I don't get the end of it. So whatever they think about you is, whatever they think about you is not about you, it's about them. And I've been reading these cards for a long time, and there's a few of them are just uh, a little tough to get. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 316, Nasdaq down 10, S&P's up 32, gold contract down $46.70, trade at 1805 an ounce. We had silver down 58 cents, 24 dollars 18 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 78 cents, 76 dollars 72 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 27 ticks, trading 130 flat. The 30-year off a full point and a half at 160.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 485 ticks, trading out at 96.516. Euro's at 112. The yen is at 114.93. And the British pound is at 133 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that we are at all-time highs. And I expect we're going to be at all-time highs and probably go a little bit higher. So you get the SPY up uh, $3.40 today, 472 Bottom line, the last high was 476.65. And my take is that we're going to stay right up here coming into the close, folks. And the X100, that's where the volatility has been out here today. You had the Qs uh, have some wide price spread out here. Uh, they opened up at the 405, they ran to 408, and then gave up the ghost. That, that being said, guess what, man? This is just because the queues are so high. This also wants higher price, too. That's, that's how this is shaking out, man. Uh, the bottom line is that now what you've done now, so check this out. Now we're broken higher, and you get volume behind the move. So, you know, Thanksgiving week, folks, number one, is highly volatile, they can push this market wherever they want to push it, and guess what? People always like pushing it up. There's no, that, that's, that's my take on it. That's where this thing is going. Gold, gold contract. Now, we have had divergence in the gold market for a good period of time. What the divergence has been is that you've had gold higher, you've had the dollar higher. It's like, okay, man, you know, fundamentally, that is not how the markets work for a long period of time. Today, it's even more bizarre because today you have the, the gold. They smoked the gold down $47. That being said, the equities, you know, depending on what equities you have out there, folks, inside the gold and silver market, um, <laughs> they, they've set up nice, very large, actually, potential ABC structures on the way up. So the market and you've had just about every single one of them reject lower price. And they did it very quickly out here this morning. Uh, pretty wild, man. I mean, if we go over to one of the weaker ones, and you're going to see this used to be a nice strong equity. Bottom line is that it turned into a weaker one. That being said, this morning, you know, if you take a look at Royal Gold, Royal Gold they ran down to 103, rejected it, has lower price. This one's higher price, man. You're down, you're down eight cents. So it's going to get intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Um, as I said a little, little bit earlier on the update. If you look at Anglo Ashante, that looks like a monster ABC structure on the way up, as does GFI. Uh, same type of setup, man. I mean, GFI is positive. An Eco Eagle, which has been weak, that looks like that bottom. Um, if you're interested in the gold market, gold equities, this is the time to get aggressive, folks, because this is telling us something in a, in a monster way. And nothing has changed. We know nothing has changed. You know, the Fed, Ed Powell's going to be the Fed chair the next four years. Brandon's going to be the vice chair. Uh, they didn't put her in charge of supervision, which it's going to be monetary policy. So it's status quo. That's the real, that's the bottom line, status quo. Let's go take a look at the 30-year note, because the 10-year note looks like it's ready to break down. We take a look at this 30-year note. Okay, so the 30-year note is down a point and a half right now. You get 733,000. Now, this is where, you see, what we're going to see here, folks, is this. 
Okay, so this is coming down in volume too. Now this is way above the bottom of the consolidation, which is the 157. Whereas the 10 year, okay, this is how this works. The 10 year is down 28 ticks. This looks like it's gonna bust through and be an ABC structure on the way down. If it is an ABC structure on the way down, you're gonna get, let's see, 130, just about 133. Okay, so it's four points, which gets you uh, 127. That 127's game here. And what you're seeing, this is, this is what's different now too also, folks, inside the note and bond market. The curve is flattening. What that means specifically is this, is that you have the 10-year that's going down very, very quickly versus the 30, okay, which is not. And so what ends up happening is that you're going to see that basically flatten out. And what that really is saying, okay, is that saying that, yeah, they see the, the short-term rates going up faster than the long-term rates. And when that normally takes place, that's when, whether if that keeps happening, you're going to see in three or four more weeks, you're going to see the aspect that that's when they start saying, okay, then we're going to run into another recession here three or four years, two or three years from now. And that's what you're looking at. So we'll see whether this whole thing does shake out. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is taking a beat out here today. Uh, bottom line is that this looks to me like it's going to 49,000. Uh, this, this, this is what we have out here. You got the, you're, you're at 56,000 right now. Uh, bottom line, 49 is wide open. 40, 49 to 50,000, that's where it broke topside from. Uh, that's where it looks like it wants to go to. So we'll, uh, the last low is the 55,663. Uh, we, we get 200 bucks above that today and uh, kind of uh, we're, let's see, five, yeah, we're 55, we're, we're 400 bucks above it now, but it doesn't look like you're going to get anything there. I expect what you're going to see is that we're going to be down into those lower levels. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, you have uh, Ford Motor Company. That, that's catching a bid. That's a uh, big time. That's a uh, buck twenty-nine. You get uh, Apple up three bucks. Uh, Nvidia's down three dollars. Nvidia's had quite a run. I think that ran to like uh, three forty-five. It's at three twenty-six right now. Um, you get uh, Advanced Micros down sixty-four cents. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.